You've seen my previous example questions, you've seen my tutorial, hopefully. This is the last example question for now, where they tell me, well, the circumference of this circle is 34 millimeters. What is the radius? And I get a little bit nervous now because every time they've given me the radius, and I have to find the circumference. But now all of a sudden, they give me the circumference and I have to find the radius. Now, do I really have to get nervous of a question like that? Well, if I do, let's write the things down we know. Now, what do I know about the circumference of a circle? Well, I know that's 2 pi r. Yeah, because I don't have to think about that formula anymore. 2 times pi times the radius is the circumference. And hang on a minute, that equals 34, they say. So that should equal 34. You see, so perhaps you didn't see it initially, but if you start writing the things down you do know about this topic, actually, step by step, you are writing down the correct equation. 2 pi r equals 34. And now it is a matter of rearranging the formula because 2 times pi, that is a number, yeah, the only unknown here is your radius. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. So the radius equals 34 divided by 2 pi. And that equals, if I do that in my calculator, 34 divided by 2 times pi, yeah, and you know where to find your pi button by now, equals, and all those decimals I write down, 5.411268065, correct that to three significant figures, 1, 2, 3, and the 1 stays a 1 because the next one is lower than a 5. 5 5.41 millimeter yeah so that is the radius of this particular circle i'd like to say again writing things down you actually know yeah and then you have con you will construct that equation realize that two times pi is a number yeah you could write that down here two times pi is 6.283185 and a lot more yeah, in a different situation, if I just can show you that, perhaps you have 5r equals 20. Now, what is the value of r? What would you do to find out? Well, I divide it by 5, right? So that's only equal if I divide that side by 5. So r equals 4, yeah, because 5 times 4 indeed is 20. Now in this particular case, I don't have a nice number 5 as a coefficient, I have 2 pi, 2 times pi, yeah? But you still got to regard that as being a number, yeah? So I divide both sides, not by 5, but by 2 pi. So 34 divided by 2 pi, that's my radius. Okay, I am done talking here now. Go to the next video and let's find more out about calculating the area of a circle. I'll see you there.